Hey everyone, in front of the camera here, I have a number 48 from the 2017 run of the 48s, and this is the Muskrat Clip, also known as the number 48 Weasel. And they are currently finishing up the Weasel run with the Muskrat Clip, and they're going to be releasing some improved trappers, which is a Muskrat Clip and a Warren Cliff blade uh, both riding on the same side about the same length as well but this is the number 48 weasel and this one is actually in blueberry jig bone now they had one that was in pickle green jig bone that looked pretty neat but when I saw that they had this blueberry jig bone I had to act fast and I actually lost one on a different knife site uh, because I put it in my cart, uh, waited around a little bit, and actually in that time of waiting around to uh, try to get all my information entered for shipping, it actually went out of stock. So it was that quick. This one seems to be one of the more popular of the 48 run. Um, you can still get, I think, some of that pickle green jig bone, and I think maybe some of the tiger eye acrylic. Uh, and they released some sandbar stag, I believe, today. So this is a number 48. We have eight because we have a muskrat clip, one for single blade, 2017, and we have blueberry jig bone. This is in Northfield Unexcelled, typical Northfield Unexcelled uh, sticker on the front. Nothing special, no pin or anything for this run. So let's take a look. The 48 is not a new pattern by any means. Uh, they've had the improved trapper around before, uh, but so they did a run here with the 48s and they also did some more um, Northwoods Hawthorns, which is based off the number 48 pattern as well. So this one is in that blueberry jig bone, which is really, really nice. I'm not sure if the camera is actually going to pick up how nice that really looks. Um, I'm not a really big jig bone kind of guy but with the way that this blue is where it fades into that lighter blue and darker blue into jigging I just saw it and said wow okay I wasn't going to buy one of these single blade uh, number 48 so I was going to wait to try to get an improved trapper and bloodwood but when I saw the color of this blueberry jig bone I need I know I needed to have one of these so <clears throat> take a look here we have double line bolsters here at the front we do have end bolsters but no lining on it this is in Northfield unexcelled so we're going to take a look at the blade which is a mirror polish now it actually does not have a long pull just has a nail nick uh, a lot of Northfield unexcelled actually have a longer pull this does not it does have a swedge ground into the blade there at the top and yeah, it has that muskrat clip so the clip portion of the blade starts way back almost you know three quarters down the blade close to the tang there instead of opposed to a classic clip point blade which uh, starts closer to half or closer to the front of the blade I'll show you some kind of comparisons here when we get to it but yeah it's a very very slim blade uh, so it's not very wide this dimension, uh, but it's actually decently long in blade length. And as we can see, we have the classic Northfield unexcelled stamping uh, or laser etching on the blade. Uh, mirror polished because we're in Northfield unexcelled. We have the unexcelled shield here. So as you can see on the tang of the blade here, we have Northfield Unexcelled made in the USA. Flip it around, GEC Titusville Ironworks. And we're looking at a number 48, 8 for the muskrat clip, one single blade, 17 for 2017. So the number 48 pattern. It's kind of a mid-sized pattern. It does fit in the pocket slip that I usually use, which is one from Collector Knives. Uh, so it does fit in that. So it's not overly large. It's kind of a, let's actually compare it right now. 
it's almost a slimmer version of a number 74. Now this is also a muskrat clip. This is a 74 stallion in Cocobaldo, also Northfield unexcelled trim. But as you can see when you put it together, they are very similar in handle length and blade length. But as you can see, the blade is wider on the stallion. The handle is wider. Similar pattern though. as a little bit more of a sweep here in the number 48. But yeah, very similar in handle length and blade length to a 74. Just more slimline. It's actually very similar in handle thickness as well. So, yeah, if you like the 74, you might like the 48 because it's very similar in size. It's just a slimline version. Pretty neat. Um, so let's take a look again at that blueberry jig bone. I don't think the camera's doing it justice. But, yeah, nice light darkest blues coming through there uniform jigging uh yeah nothing nothing fancy with the jigging uh, it's not quite the peach seeds jigging on a tom's choice barlow here and if you want to frame a reference for next to a number 15 there you go that's next to a number 15 and this has a more standard clip point instead of the muskrat clip so as you can see, the clip on this blade starts not as far down the spine of the blade, unlike that muskrat clip that starts almost three quarters down the spine. Now, I'll give you a comparison here. Let's also take a look at the Northwoods Hawthorne Jack, and this is also from the recent run. This is in giraffe bone, and the Northwoods Hawthorne Jack also had a Warren Cliff version as well. So let's take a look at that. The blade on this Hawthorne Jack is a little bit wider. And it's more of a classic clip point because that clip starts further up the spine of the blade, not close to the tang. And of course this is a saber ground blade and has that heat treat left on with the Northwoods uh, line, but very similar in design because these are both on the 48 frame and you have the bolsters on each end so yeah a little bit different I actually kind of prefer the look of the blade on the Hawthorne instead of the 48 weasel but I do like the jigging on this uh, let's take a look at fit and finish uh, really no issues as usual um, GEC does a fantastic job at making a blade Let's see, between the bolsters and the covers, really nothing, not really catching anything. Maybe a little bit there. But I also am kind of hitting the lines in the bolsters. Um, as far as when it's open, you are completely flush. There's not as much spring tension in here when open as if you would have on a 74. A stallion here this has a lot more tension open so this feels a lot more confident when you have it open to keep it open and won't close on you I think that the 74 also just feels more ergonomic because there's more handle in this uh, but the 48 is definitely a lot slimmer in hand it still feels good but it's not as filling as the 74 now pull late is pull weight on this number 48 is actually relatively light as well. I'd say this is maybe, maybe a seven, maybe like six and a half. Yeah, it's, it's relatively light. It's definitely a lot lighter than the 74. So if you want something that's close to the 74 size, but has a lighter pull, this is definitely an option. Uh, at the half stop, we are very slightly proud and closed we are flush again typical GEC fit and finish so yeah the 48 and the weasel construction are those muskrat clips uh, we will be seeing 
the number 48 and the improved trapper which I've made before which is a muskrat clip and a identical in length Warren Cliff secondary blade now just as a reference let's see how much this number 48 weasel weighs would help if I let it zero in first uh, now I gotta reset this okay it's zeroed in 2.08 ounces how does it compare to a number 74 well number 74 will probably be a little bit heavier 2.18 ounces so not much heavier but it is a little bit and of course this has cocoa ball handles might be a little bit lighter than that jigged bone anyway take a look here we have brass liners between that back spring overall really nice and I wasn't gonna get one of the single blade number 48s in the weasel pattern until I saw this but I still plan to get one of the improved trappers when those are released so that's the number 48 weasel by Great Eastern Cutlery and Blueberry Jig Bone Northfield unexcelled trim if you have any comments leave them down below uh, like this video and subscribe if you want to see more videos. And as always, thanks for watching.